So it's that time yet again. The Void Trader Barrow Katia has reappeared. On PC, he will be on the Strata Relay Earth, PlayStation, the Cronai Relay Saturn, Xbox, the Strata Relay Earth, and the Switch, Lorunda Relay Mercury. Let's see what he has on PC. First of all, he has brought the Prisma Machete. Really? The Prisma Machete. Well... We all expected it. I mentioned a while ago that this was one of the remaining items that had not turned up yet. There is this and wow, I'm going to get a lot of grief for not remembering what it is, but there is a staff that will be available from the steel path, but doesn't look too bad. If it is, well, it should be basically a better version of the machete. There is the Optico Vandal. If you do not have that, out of the two items, uh, every time the Optical Vandal is the much better weapon. There is Primed Fast Hands, Reload Speed for Rifle, Primed Pack Leader, hmm, Lifesteal Link for Companion, Primed Heated Charge plus 165% Heat for Pistol, Primed Heavy Trauma, same kind of thing but Impact at a 4 melee, the Azra Luxem Ornament, Landing Craft Decoration, the Katia Earpiece, that is both of them, unlike the solo one that is obviously just one ear, the Katia Tribute Glyph, Viz Luxem Ornament, yeah. Every time I see this come up, I expect it to be named something else, and it's not. The Prisma Yamako Sandana, Katia Sentinel Wings, that would be on the bottom of this Sentinel. Yeah, some of the accessories look kind of weird on here, but I will admit the Sentinel Wings, kind of a perfect fit for this thing. I don't know why, just is. There is Pedestal Umbra, it's like the Pedestal Prime, but it moves. The top rotates up, and the sides do the same, and it has that slider that goes up and down. It'll go up, then the cup bottom comes down and when it goes down it grabs the bottoms pulls them back up moving on prisma veritux that is the arc wing melee weapon it would be great if they did what they did with the gravamag but for melee weapons really hoping one day they do that uh for the record yep optical vandal still the better choice here the eminence color palette left prisma uh, Prisma Edo knee plate, then there is the left Prisma Edo shoulder plate, then there is the Prisma Edo chest plate, then the right shoulder plate and leg plate. Mantis Sidonia skin, landing craft, well, it's not landing craft, it, well technically it is skin for the Mantis. Do like these things, but the Prisma ones just look nicer. We would still have to go for the Opticore, but the Prisma Gorgon is also here. They're, He's brought a lot of weapons for some reason. The Corrupted Bombard Spectre Blueprint builds one. It is not a reusable blueprint. It is massively overpriced. It needs to be turned into a reusable blueprint. And the price of it tripled. Would kind of balance out the fact it was reusable. There is the Pyra Sugatra, Melee Dangly. There is... Hmm. Cockless Sandana, Melee Dangly. Why? That's kind of weird. Sands of Anaurus Blueprint, as we'll always bring. And if you have Anaurus Prime equipped when you come to see him, you can pick up the Barrow Void Signal to do missions to unlock the Elixis items. Jumping over to console with every pun intended. Oh, on your head, Mr. Barrow. Um, somebody keeps telling me this is a Harry Potter character and how to pronounce it. I ain't touching it, but the Necromech based armor set has the knee plates turning up this time on console. I do believe next time will be the shoulder plates completing the set. They do actually look pretty nice. Primed Expel Corpus, 55% damage to, obviously, Corpus, pistol. And same thing, but, well, that's corrupted. So, Primed Expel Corpus, Primed Expel Corrupted. Scorch, 60% heat and status chance for pistol. Hmm. <laughs> Tempo Royale, race stance for heavy. Heavy blade. Pistol, pistol, pistol. Almost think they were trying to get ready for something, but no. There is the bronze Kubro bust. 
landing craft decoration, the Tybron Elixir skin. If you have an Aorus when you come to see him, you might have a chance of getting that from his signal rather than actually buying the thing. Same with the Sonicore Elixir skin, but don't know if the weapon skins actually drop or whether it is just the armor that drops from that. That is something that I need to kind of verify. The Lisette Sidonia skin does actually look better than the Mantis one that PC has. The 10 times Katia Fireworks, Vorm Fass Glyph, that would be the two worms. And yes, if you look it up, it is actually written here. They are the twin worms, Vorm and Fass, from Deimos. So they are worms. Said that at the time, okay being told it was a snake. There is the Prisma Tetra, of course we all know come Tuesday the 6th, that may become completely and utterly useless when the next update lands. There is the Machete Wraith that, well, if we very, 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 very quickly kind of try to compare this, we get really into trouble with the fact that, well, the Machete Wraith has a, a more damage than the <laughs> Prisma Machete that PC has. Don't know why that is? That is just apparently a thing that is happening here. Hmm. There is the Prisma Gracata would take that over the Machete every day of the week. It is a lot more fun. The Prisma Neighborus shoulder plates. There is the Katia Raza Sandana that looks like a Warframe's face. Everybody keeps saying the Deimos Sisos. Prex card, well, what, however you wish to pronounce that, the Axie V8 relic that brings Volt Prime, Lex Prime parts, a former blueprint, and the Odenata Prime, some of the Odenata Prime parts, Prisma Companion poster for Landing Craft, Prisma, you know, try and turn it so you can actually kind of see it. I always choose the wrong frames for this stuff, don't I? Prisma Avia Ankle Plates keep going down there is the chest plate that goes with it and as you could probably have guessed by this point the shoulder plates as well making the whole armor set the Diriga desert camo skin well sentinel skin no I thought I went past something there signs of an Aorus blueprint and the fear path ephemera there is also if you have an Aorus prime on console the signal but again if you have it it has to be said the prisma machete has less damage than the Machete Wraith. The Machete Wraith is an event-based weapon. It has less crit, less status, slower attack speed. The Machete Wraith is definitely the better of the two. How it will go is basically the normal Machete is okay. The Prisma Machete, massive improvement since they share the same attack speed, but it does have twice the status and a tiny little bit more crit and crit multiplier. And then the Machete Wraith is the better of the three machetes. We'll just put it that way, mainly because if I continue looking at this, I'm, I'm just... I'm torn if I want to actually pick that up or not. The image is wrong to what it is. That will probably not be hotfixed since they are doing the massive update on Tuesday. But, maybe they will. Time will tell on that one. By the time it returns, that should, should be fixed. Assuming that there is actually a picture for it that's supposed to be there. Who knows? But, as always, Barrow Katia will be around for two days. So if there is something you want, you have until then to get in. If you can't, there's no need to panic. Everything he brings will cycle back through. And... Everything he has sold for the past year, he will return with on July 17th for the special Tenocon Relay. But you do need the digital ticket for it. Ha! I can get you for that one. Because I'm not in the menu this time. But with that, I think we'll leave this off here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.